Ah, there you are. A very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live with the Scotty McClue Hour, live on Facebook Live from 10 o'clock sharp tonight, Sunday the 15th of January 2017 through until 11 o'clock. So we've only got an hour. Lots and lots to talk about tonight. So I hope you will be there or be square, I say. Also, talking of be there or be square, make sure that you share, 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 share. We've already been on today with a short promotion which lasted about 45 minutes, and um, that should tell you mainly what's going on tonight. Lots to discuss tonight, and you can, of course, Skype the program at scotty.mcclue, but no idiots, so I shall only be taking serious people. Hello, Scotty, says Craig Shaw. Hello to you, Craig. Lovely to have you with us live on Scotty McClue Live on Facebook Live this Sunday night. Oh, it's Scotty, says George Mullen. What a surprise, George. You wouldn't be expecting me. I wasn't expecting that, as the old song sings. All right, Scotty, says Andrew Guild. Absolutely. Bit of shout out. I had some people on one time that said, we watched your show, but it was mainly shouting out to people. You see, well, it is the shout out show. That's what it's called. Uh, Julianne Scott has shared to tell everybody. Also, Julianne, can you and everyone else on Facebook Put a little um, entry into your Facebook and send it round to everybody say, are you all watching Scotty McClue right now? And uh, see if we can get them on here. You look younger without the bonnet, says George Mullen. Ah, you saw me earlier today and you thought I looked younger without my bonnet. I don't know. I am not so sure, George. Uh, Oi, mush, says Julianne Scott. Fiona Summers is watching and Owen Murdoch is watching, which is absolutely excellent stuff, I say. Hi, de hi, Scotty, says Gordon Ritchie. Ho de ho, Gordon. Good evening, Angie Hope. Are you okay? Says Angela Goodlett. Brian J. Hemmings says hi. And uh, May Fraser's watching. Hello, May. Lovely to have you. Martin is watching. There goes the Skype. Let's just see who have we got. Edward is calling. Let's have a quick chat to Edward. Hello, Edward. Yes. Hello, Edward. Can you hear me? Hello. How are you getting on, John? Sure. How are you getting on? Fine, I think. I think. How's yes. yourself? Fine. Good to hear you, actually, Edward. Marvellous stuff. How are you? Yes, well, you've just asked that already. I, I, know, I know, but you haven't Thanks. told me. You just kind of did a kind of, ah, oh, hi, hi, hi. You know, that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are you, are yeah, you, no, but I think so. Are you enjoying the programme? <laughs> I can hear you speak English, yes. Well, you can hear me speak in English. Hang on, see if I can make it a wee bit better uh -huh. for you. Well, I see if I can make it better. Hold on. Is that any better if I do that? Well, it's sound. I can hear you totally. Yes, a bit it's, better. It's That's so... excellent. That's excellent uh, stuff. Okay. It's fine, fine, fine. Yes, yes. Why, why independence, Scotty? Why independence? Yes, we've well, got I... autonomy just about it total. We've got, we haven't got total autonomy. We don't have control well, just... of our media or our broadcasting. We... You, you keep saying you're apolitical. Yeah, I am apolitical. you talk about is politics. Well, no, no. People, <laughs> people, people drag me into it, you see, Edward. They draw me into the discussion. I mean, obviously, there's many things I'd rather discuss, but they draw me yeah. into the political discussion. Oh, uh, but I have right. to say, Scotland at the moment, uh, you know, there's there's a myth going round that we get subsidised. We're subsidising the UK to the tune of £40 billion a year. Uh -huh. And I think to myself, uh -huh. look, really just purely you from an... Yes, you I'm hearing. You're breaking up. Am I breaking up, son? Are you losing me? Oh. Yeah. Oh, are you losing me? Hear you. Can you hear me? Mm. Can you hear, you. Can, you hear can you hear me if I do that? Yeah. That's excellent. That's excellent. Well, I'll do that. Well, no, what we've got there, so we are subsidising the UK at the moment, and that's fine. But Scotland was an independent country up until, you know, 310 years ago. And I think we should it give is. it a go again. It's, it's, why, why, why? Well, because it would make us a lot better off. I don't think Westminster has ever really understood Scotland and the Scottish people. Uh, no, whatever, but Did why you put up barriers? Up? Well, you're not actually putting up a barrier, you're just changing the management. You know, so you're not well, doing all this nonsense about borders and hard borders. You wouldn't have any of that. If you're a political, but you've got, why not? 
you should really stand. What you if I should, should stand? An, an apolitical person standing as an MP? Mm, well, 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 well. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see what happens, Edward. But listen, lovely of you to put the opposite case. Is that you pushing me off already? Oh, yes, yes. Well, unless you've got anything it's interesting great, to say. Like, it's, it's, it's really, really great to hear you again. Are you honestly enjoying it? Of course. That of is course. excellent stuff. Uh, there's going to be probably some good news in the new year for Scotty McLeod, so you'll be hearing and seeing a lot more of me. Thankfully. Okay, hey, that's great. And yeah. It's good to okay, hear you. Do. And dinky doola. Yes, right, thanks. God bless, oh, right, thanks. God bless you, son. <laughs> right, there you are. Everybody's shouting, cut him off. <laughs> yes, says Christopher Smith. That poor unionist has selective hearing. Oh, my good breath, says uh, Elliot Seth Faber. How do you pronounce that then? What does that mean? Now then, old radio days, says Elliot Seth Faber. Yes, of course. Uh, Scotland only made a business contract of trade with England. We united together to make money. We haven't been making money for a long time with England now. Simply, it's time to leave. Absolutely. But I don't want to um, talk all about independence in this program, guys. I shall put you back now to the middle bit. How's that looking? Is that better? So there we are. Me couldn't do the high dusting, says Gordon. Hi, Scotty. How are you doing, says Mary Carty. Lovely to hear from you, Mary. Sorry I'm late, Scotty. Got held up by a cyclist, says Sandy Howden. Sandy, that's wearing a wee bit thin now. It's not particularly funny. He <laughs> says Jarvis Butler. What's the topic, says Elliot Seth Faber. The topic tonight, Elliot, is would you be willing to give up your car and go by public transport? So there you are. So let's hear what you're saying about that. Scotty, I'm glad you brought the Skype back, says Christopher Smith. I know, but we just have to make sure that people are behaving. Uh, here's Wendy Garrod. Hello, Scotty, from sunny Fortaventura, the Canary Isles, not Portugal. Ah, Fortaventura. And am I not right in thinking there's a, a Fortaventura in Portugal? So there we go. I, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's me. Uh, Scotty, glad you brought the Skype back. Yes, you said that. Lol. Good evening, says Esther Hart. Two small kisses. Two small kisses to you, Esther Hart. And a very good evening to you. Thank you to all of you who have had a look earlier at the promo for the program. There's a good number of you there. And that's fantastic. Uh, Scotty, seeing you and hearing you again, I can't call, can I call you my radio brother? Tony Mack, of course you can. Scotty.McClue on Skype. On you come and have a chat. Mark John Conway, what do you think will be the next First Minister after Nicola Sturgeon? Oh, I think there's one or two in the queue. Um, it might be me, but then I'm apolitical and I'm not an SNP man. Uh, so there you go. But I think there's a few. Uh, I like the Bobby Strikes Back, says George Mullen. Uh, now, nice to hear you and nice to see you fully dressed, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Yes, I had my tie off at lunchtime. Sorry. Tut, 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 tut. Right, Skype seems to be full of losers, says George Mullen. I don't think so, George. Have you been on? Uh, public transport not good here in the valleys, says Julianne Scott. Down in the Welsh valleys, she's telling me about. Uh, Scotty, I can't get the Skype sorted, says Jarvis. I know, Jarvis. Anything you touch will turn to dust if it's technical. Uh, McClure, can we have a feature on McBrain's buses? I can do a PowerPoint presentation for £500. Or you can get one just by looking it up for not a bean, Gordon. So there you are. Uh, my brain's buses, yes. What do you want to know? I can tell you all about them. They used to meet the, the, the ships. It was a wonderful setup. They had a saying that uh, it was based on the old Sam, the earth belongs unto the Lord and all that it contains, except the Western Islands, because they are all McBrain's. Uh, nothing wrong with public transport. I use it every day, says Frank McElroy, and never have any problems. And most drivers are polite on the buses. I love the Welsh accent, says Julianne Scott. Thank you, Julie. I hope it's okay. Yucky da. And uh, Medusa, says Jarvis. Absolutely. Uh, Scotty, what was your first car? Do you think all cars look the same nowadays? Or were they more stylish in the 70s? My first car was a 1952 Austin Somerset. And it cost me uh, £20, I think. And I ran it for quite a long time. Did it up. It had a 1250 engine. It was austerity motoring, it was called, in the early 1950s. So if anybody's familiar with the, the 1950s Austin Somerset, it was an A40 Somerset. 
Fantastic. Tell me some of the features. Evening Bam Bam, says Neil James Mills. Where's Tommy the Commie? He hasn't discovered us. We haven't had a peep from Tommy the Commie for years and years and years. Uh, seven Good is Baldy Head, says Robbie Provin. Yes, I did. Are you Pat? No, I am certainly not David McLean. How dare you? Can we start in Glasgow City Council? That will take up the full hour. No, George Mullen, we cannot go into things like that. That is not what this programme is about. It is not a knocking shop. It's not a slag off line. What do you think of Nicola Sturgeon's Kevin of right? Obviously, she is a fantastic leader. Scotty, you're stuck again. I'm going to watch Taggart. Yes, you push off. We're not wanting the likes of you on here wasting time. My God, we could talk for a year on GCC, says John Paul Preston. I know. My first car was a Simca van. Yes, my father ran Simca vans, the V1100 van. Fantastic things. So there you are. And um, Dotty, how quick could we get rid of Trident if we became independent? We want all that oil that's in the Clyde Basin. Of course, Smarton, yes, it's it's Trident been based in the West Coast there that's holding up the exploration in the Clyde. My first car was an Austin Princess, says Stephen P. Donnelly. Now, was it the wedge-shaped princess? Was it a Princess Van der Pla 1100? Was it a Princess Van der Pla 1300? Was it a Princess Van der Pla 1500? Was it the very original princess on the A110 chassis? Here is Francis calling. Fantastic. Hello, Francis. Dinky do. Was it the wedge shape? You're through to Scotty McClure. Hello. Hello, Francis. How are you doing, son? Not too bad. How are you? Hey, very good to hear from you. Happy New Year, yeah. A happy New Year, absolutely. Where are you calling from, Francis? Um, from Greensmouth. From Greensmouth. I love it. The home of oil and gas. <laughs> ah, the home of the BP. The home <laughs> of the BP. Fantastic. The best people. <laughs> yeah. It's great to hear you, Francis. I'm glad you've discovered us. Oh, I've been listening to you for years, Scotty. Eh? Oh, you're some man, I'll tell you. That is wonderful. We need to get out. We're global now, of course, on Facebook Live. But we need to get out on many, many, many platforms and see if we can build up the audiences. Well, I've been, I've, I've been telling my friends about you and that, and uh, like, they've listened to some of the videos that you've had on YouTube and that. Excellent, Francis. Thank you for that. Have you told 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue Live on Facebook Live at 10? Tell 10 to tell 100 to tell 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Lovely to hear you. What's happening in sunny Grangemouth on a winter's evening? Well, it's not been that sunny, Scott. It's been pretty miserable, to be honest. <laughs> aye, aye. It'd be quite, of course, and you've got the wind coming off the sea there. Aye, and it's like, uh, it's been off the icy too, and I've got the brittle bone disease, so oh. I can't really go out in the winter weather, so it's quite, uh, it's quite miserable having to stay in the house all the time. <laughs> right, Francis, I'm going to save up my pennies and get you a Mitchell and Man suit. Uh, it, it'd be handy if I actually had uh, uh, Batman or Superman's powers and get yes. to fly. Yes, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Somebody told me Superman was at the airport and he'd had a few drinks, you know. And they said to him, they said, Superman, you're too drunk to fly. He says, I know, that's why I'm taking the plane. <laughs> I, I, and, and you shouldn't be drinking and flying or drinking and driving. <laughs> Absolutely. Francis, take great care to you. I wish you every strength to your bones. And you're a fantastic guy. And keep, and keep going, by the way, because you're doing a great job every Sunday, mate. You are a topper, and dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, man. Dinky-doo. Thanks, Francis, top man. There we are, oh, Francis yeah. King. They're phoning from Grangemouth. What a marvellous guy. He's got the brittle bones, hasn't been out in the ice. But what a nice fella. And he's sharing McClure big time now. Is it time for a share? Two minutes' time. What's the topic tonight, says Alan Miller? Alan, I suspect you might not have been here at 10 o'clock sharp, which is a tot, 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 tot. So there you are. Oof, says Jarvis Butler. The topic tonight is, would you rather public transport? Would you be willing to give up your personal transport, your car or your scooter? Lol, dinky-doo, love it, says Amanda. I'll have a wee share of the live feed. Have a big share, Amanda. You're very, very welcome. So share, 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 share. Enjoy doing drama at Media College. What would be the film that describes your life, says Tony Mack. Oh, my goodness, Tony. Now you're talking. Yes, that's an interesting one. Uh, so there we are. Reach for the sky. Fantastic. What about that one? Kenneth Moore. 
reached for the sky he had an accident sir douglas banner it was based on sir douglas banner so uh, you can get your drama there but give us a call on skype tony and we'll have a chat about your course uh, scotty pfis have killed the nhs the powers that be have had to sell the family silver to pay for them and now there's none left this is true there you go just giving myself we mop down lights are very very hot in this studio tonight public transport is getting too expensive so due to that i'd rather use my car says alan ah a bit of an individualist alan eh? oh yes no problem at all here's edward gunn calling hello edward dinky do so, so you agnes 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 is it yourself agnes agnes hello agnes can you hear me is that you agnes it's agnes your voice is a bit Hi, my voice is a bit deep. Yes, I've been losing a lot of weight. Hi, Scotty. Can you say hi to Joanne Minnis, says Alex Carl. Of course I can. Robbie being no chance. Why would I choose to give up my car and share a carriage with the great unwashed, says Robert being Woo, Robert, aren't you posh? So there we are. Robbie Proven says, say hello to Sandra Johnson, who's got a big day tomorrow at hospital. We wish her luck. Absolutely, Robbie. George Mullen just finished watching Father Ted. How good a comedy would you make? Oh, fantastic. Here is Gordon. Do we see what he's saying to it? Whoa. Hello, Gordon Bell. Dinky do. How are you doing, Scotty boy? How are you getting on, China? Lovely to hear from you. I've been Great to hear you once again. Scotty, I've had a long, long absence from your show. I'm, oh. I'm deeply sorry for that. I, I never knew you were still around, but I'm oh. incredibly glad I found you here on Facebook. How's things? I think everybody thought I was Ben Breed, but you see, when I left Scotland <laughs> and I went away and worked throughout the UK, all the big radio right. stations, and a fabulous, fabulous time. So what we're did doing... Did you them up? Oh, we sorted them all out big time, I shall tell you. The whole of the North West... The whole of the North East, Yorkshire, the Midlands, London. Outstanding. Oh, yes, we sorted them all out. But no, it's great to hear from you, Gordon. I've been following you on Facebook, and I like your posts. Good, good. Uh -huh. Just having a sip of tea. You can talk while I sip the tea. You don't, do you don't have to go quiet just because I'm drinking tea? <laughs> <laughs> Scott, it was this thing with regards to public transport. Yes. Every day we were tweeted in the media we were, um, how shocking the likes of uh, ScotRail is. Uh -huh. So so what incentive is there then for the public to uh, you know, leave the car keys at home and, and, and head to the station? Well, the Chancellor needs to get his act together, to be quite honest, because the last Chancellor tended to favour road transport, right? They, they mm -hmm. have a department of road and rail, which is very convenient. And the last chance I tended to favour road transport, which was great for uh, for people who have got cars, but public transport suffered. And the money that they, they cut in fuel duty, uh, they have allegedly um, obviously put on to the rail travellers. So they've had an increase in fares. So I think we're needing a fairer balance. We're needing to work out mm -hmm. who uses public transport. You know, I mean, apart from the fact it's obviously privatised public transport is obviously a huge money maker. Uh, you know, we've got to work out who's using it and we've got to work out what's best for the people. And of course, because I tend to get concerned with Scotland, apolitically, of course, um, you know, I like to think what's best for the people of Scotland, but also of what's course. best for the people of Edinburgh, Glasgow, Aberdeen, Inverness, what's best for those in Birmingham and Sheffield and Manchester and in London who are travelling in. Because how do you get in and out of London if you don't take a train or a short bus journey? Well, the thing is, it's, I mean, the M8, for example, in either direction, whether it's out at Hamilton or at the airport, it's chock-a-block, there's roadworks, you can't get moving. So the, the, the heavy traffic obviously isn't enough of an incentive. No. I think, personally, the rates are too high. The Which particular rates? Well, train rates, bus rates. The bus rates, yeah, the fares. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, because it used to be a bargain. I mean, I went to school on steam trains. And it was threepens. Seriously, it was tuppence or threepens. It was tuppence one way, and I think threepens return. Now that's old pennies. So oh. we're talking, you know, we're talking like two p. <laughs> you know, now people are paying absolute fortunes. And you every can, year they're going up every year. 
the steam train you could catch it although steam is not an efficient uh, you know mode of engineering to be quite honest with you electricity is probably your best at maybe around 80 85 percent efficiency Mm -hmm. You know, from that point of view, but I think we need to get the balance right. What these governments need to do nowadays is start looking after the people. You're right. That's the problem. It's Consulting the, the people rather yes. than just yes. and, 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 and making their own decision. Absolutely. And I've thrown a challenge down to all politicians, leaders and people in positions of power. Get yourself a big phone in like this that's on all the time so that we can hear the people speak. Excellent idea. You know, then you wouldn't have had all your problems with Brexit. You wouldn't have had all your problems over the uh, Scottish referendum because we'd all have been talking and we would have been informed, educated and entertained. So that's what no. I'm looking at, Gordon. I think you're right. I think you're, you know, that's just scratching the surface. There's a whole lot that, that, that needs consulted on oh, for yes. the public. But, um, no, we could start with the basics, that's for sure. Start with the basics, start with the phone in, and get people talking all the time. Could you chair it sort of like the, I don't know, like the chair of the house type thing? The, the fair and tie, the father uh, of the house. Uh, <laughs> well, we could do like we're doing now, but just do it on an absolutely massive scale. You know, get in touch with the senior management of Facebook and say, look, jack this thing up big style so that everybody in the world can chip in. <laughs> you know, and remember, it would be there's ideal. Only, it would be ideal. absolutely. Be and remember, ideal. there's only, and I mean, that's what we're working on. And remember, there's only one race, and that's the human race. Uh, I hope you remember your pals, Scotty. Oh, I always remember my pals, big time. You see, that's the lovely thing. There's no side to me. I'm not after anything in particular. I can give to. I am one of the richest men in the world. I just don't have any money. Well. You can define rich in many different ways. Oh, big time, I'll, I'll tell you, but I've got the old what life balance right. Yes. And indeed. that's what it's all about. And I've got the right you sense. You're quite cosy there with your bonnet. Oh, we're well tucked in. I'm absolutely roasted in here tonight <laughs> with the lights in the studio. They know the lights are bright in the studio. Good. Good. <laughs> Lovely to hear right. you, Gordon. Hey, See and, you later, Scott. As we say in the best of circles, dinky do. See you later, dinky do. <laughs> <laughs> Buy a car, you won't have to worry about public transport, says George. Scotty, you're losing punters here. What do you mean, George? <coughs> How can I possibly be losing punters? Don't talk nonsense. No more Skype, Scotty. Some folk tick up the full hours, says Angie Thompson. But people are shouting, oh, give us the Skype, give us the Skype. And then when we go on the Skype, oh, stop the Skype. Get the clippies back on the buses. Come on, get off, says Esther Hart. Sandy Howden, SNP benefactor, made a lot of bus deregulation, Scotty. Yes, and so did a... A Tory benefactor, I think, Sandy, and no doubt a lot of Labour benefactors as well. Um, you know, how much of uh, Labour made out of the transport unions? Bring back the horse-drawn carriages, environmentally friendly, uh, full of cowboys needing to gallop through. Uh, Scotty, I can't have my chauffeur driving a bus. I'll keep my car, thanks. My bus pass comes up for consideration. Uh, I don't understand... It's ordered now, so I don't understand why has it been blocked. It doesn't expire until the 3rd of March 2017. Ah, you get on to them, Francis, and give them what for. Tell them you'll speak to Scotty McClure about it. That'll make a difference. People can't afford public transport. It costs five quid for a return to town, and that's a round trip of five miles, says Steve Burrows. So there you go, Steve. Margaret Bonner says, hi, Scotty. Didn't you do, Margaret? Hi to you. There's a bit of fluff on your jacket. Where are you talking? And we'll get it off. There we are. Uh, ten invited, ten friends of Scotty and shared again to Stuart Walker. Yes, we're coming up to another share. Say hi to Lampy, says Bernadette Turner. Of course, Bernadette. No trouble at all, dinky do. If you've just joined us and you're wondering what on earth is going on, you're watching Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, the one everyone is talking about and the one everyone is listening to. Tell everybody on your Facebook, actually type in a little entry and say, I am watching Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live, are you? I am watching Scotty McClue, are you? Dinky do. So there we are. There's too many people having sex on the buses, and that's just the drivers, says Ian Walker. You've been watching on the buses. Scotty, my son, just showed me his statement on uni loan, and it's all interest 
says Sandy Harrington. Well, of course, yes. Anything your son shows you is going to be of interest, Sandy. Andrew Thompson, it's seven pound fifty for a day ticket from Motherwell to Glasgow for a child over five. Four forty for an all-day ticket on the buses. That's good. Don't underestimate the taxis. Oh, far be it from me to stand up for wealthy taxi drivers. But don't underestimate the good value in a taxi. Because sometimes, you know, you can get down to the shops and back for a fiver. Lothian buses are the best in the country, Scotty. Look at the post I put further up about the tax, says Sean Finlay. They are, Sean. They're excellent. When I uh, worked and lived in Edinburgh, I loved the Lothian buses. You just got on and got off. Uh, delighted to have shared you with my friends. Thank you for being a great friend too, says Tony Mack. Not at all, Tony. A great privilege and a pleasure. Uh, just shared again, Scotty, says Margaret Bonner. Yeah, that's great, Margaret. We've got a few minutes to the big national share. I haven't used public transport in a year. I walk or bike because the price is a pack of gen fags. I'd rather have the smokes, says John Paul Pressenbrook. Give up your smokes, John. Save yourself a fiver a day. McClure hasn't smoked for 19 years. Bring back the trams to Glasgow, says Mark John Conway. You know, don't, don't joke, Mark. That's a big possibility. They've got them in Edinburgh. Glasgow taxis are Glasgow's best company, says George Mullen. Not that he would have anything to do with that, I'm sure. Uh, any news about going more than once a week, Scotty? Well, you never know. It's a serious threat. We might go every night for three hours. Bring back the horse and cart, says Michael McGuigan. Love the postman and... Trying to phone you, Scotty, but it just keeps ringing out, says Jarvis. Yes, it will. Dinky do, Scotty, says Wadge. Wadge hush me. How lovely to hear from you, Wedge. Uh, I'm following you on Facebook, of course. Now, can everybody follow me on Facebook? Right? So, when you see follow Scotty McClue on Facebook, follow, follow, follow. Follow all the Scotty McClue pages. Dinky do, Scotty hyphen McClue.com. Uh, there's two Scotty McClues. There's a Scotty McClue public page where you can click like, and there's this page that you're on right now. Uh, we need to expand Glasgow's subway system. Yes, how far out would you go with the old tube system? You know, would we get out to Mogai or something like that? The trams used to run out to Mogai on what they called the reserve track. So they ran out to Bale's Den and Mogai. And of course, uh, on the south side, Rookin Glen Park, that I think was the terminus for the trams coming out to the south side. So you could run them out to the mains. Trams are more expensive than buses. Well, Steve, I've worked in Manchester and Sheffield, and they, of course, have got the trams. And what an excellent system. It's a great thing. Silent. Fantastic. Missed you, says Wadge. Missed you too, Wadge. Scotty, spandex or lycra? I don't know, Jarvis. You know, it depends what you fancy. Don't be asking me. Your private life's your own. Uh, what are your thoughts on immigration, says Kamal? Well, Scotland has been depopulated through social injustice right the uh, sending all the people abroad the tears and tears as these boats came into highland bays so that lairds and rich people could get rid of the people and get sheep onto the land uh, and of course you know all the stories about it golf spay and roundabout there as well and what i think the tv at the stag and the black black oil what i think we need to do now is um you know repopulate scotland you can be driving around in rural countryside in Scotland and you'll come on a, a, a puckle of the old stains lying in a field. That would have been a village pre-1750. Uh, so there you are. Scotty, start in Glasgow City Council. You'll know more about them than me. I know about everything, George. I make it my business. Here is Edward calling. What's going on? Hello, Edward. How are you? Dinky-doo. Hello. Thank, uh, hello, there, Scotty. Dinky-doo. Is it okay to call you back? Is, if you are, yes, well, no, no, back. if you'd like to, yes, yes. Um, although I'm just, just, they're all starting thought, to moan and whinge. I thought you couldn't get out of them quick enough. Oh, no, no, there's it. absolutely no question of that, Edward. It's just that we have to get on because we've only got an hour and that's the messages nice are coming in all that. the time. So that's uh -huh. that's what's going in there. Uh, as I was saying about politics. Yes. Are you still really political? I am apolitical, yes. Although I do believe yes. Scotland could manage on its own independently. By? By paying for itself, no problem at all. Oh, never, we can never survive. 
Oh, Who nonsense, chose? nonsense, nonsense. Absolutely. I mean, they talked Who about chose? a deficit. No, no, you need to have your confidence up, Edward. Very important. No confidence, it's just, it's, it's just no, common it's confidence. It's sense. No, sense common, common sense is independence. Oh, That's yeah. common sense. There you are, off you go. Scotty, I got a text summary. I threw the door and it gives you a breakdown. Oh, th oh, sorry, you got your tax summary through the door. Gives you a breakdown of where your tax goes and all the government's permission to give our money away. Yes, I think this about the broadcasting, you know, I was thinking there's about £200 million in, uh, in broadcasting fees comes into Scotland. And I think we could do some pretty good things with that. So I would like to see Scotland have its own separate broadcasting. And uh, I think we should have a choice in where our tax actually goes. Scotty, time to use the river. More river taxes and boats. I think the council is scared of the Nigerian pirates. Now, Ian Walker, that is a brilliant, brilliant idea. The Clyde, you know, one of the busiest waterways in the world up until about 50 years ago. It needs to be used. It's a fantastic facility. I mean, I saw a seaplane land on the Clyde one day. It was a wonderful treat to see it. And uh, what I was thinking, you know, when people say, oh, we're needing a new runway for the airport, we are surrounded by runways. And if you look for a company called Saunders hyphen Row, R-O-E, it was Sir Elliot Verdon Row of Avro Aircraft, A-V Row, Elliot Verdon Row, A-V Row, Saunders Row, uh, Sam Saunders, the launch builder, and Elliot Verdon Row. And uh, if you look at that company, you will see that they, up until the 1950s, built a great big um, passenger carrying seaplane called the Saunders Row Princess. So look that up, S-A-U-N-D-E-R-S hyphen R-O-E Princess. And you'll see in the 1950s, there's this fantastic flying boat. And uh, what about the hovercraft at Portobello, says Sean Finlay? Absolutely. Ah, yes. I love Ewing's, says Peter Ewing. Yes, you will do. How come only 50 plus people are watching? No, no, no. That's not quite how it works. You'll find that about 1,500 watched the promo this morning, and that will go up during the week. And then you'll find that actually several thousand watched the programme. So I wouldn't worry about that. Avro is a model of aircraft, twin prop planes. Well, Avro, Avro was a manufacturer of aircraft, of course, AV Row. Uh, can we just get all the hovercraft each, says Alex Duff. And of course, does anybody remember the Highland Seabird um, going from, uh, I think it was Glasgow to Rothsey? How do you spell that again? Squatty, says Jarvis. S-A-U-N-D-E-R-S -E hyphen R-O-E princess. Princess flying boat. I wouldn't go down the Clyde Bitten Mother will its rank since it flooded Abel's Road Cemetery. So there you are. Thank you for that. Yeah, Scotland's so wealthy compared to its population size and GDP, we are being robbed blind. Correct. Scotty, what do you think about the new wheelie bin collection frequency? Once a fortnight too long, it could attract rats. My lady friend Sandra has just found you, Scotty. She's a new follower. The Connie says, uh, Jasper, open the canals and use them, says Esther Hart. Esther, this is fantastic. We could get all the heavy transport in the canal and get the trucks off the road because they cause a tremendous amount of the jam-ups. Um, can you give us a wee tune in the box, says Alex Duff? Yes, I will do later, Alex. Do the maths over 70 billion into 5.5 million. It's simple, says John Paul Preston. You're quite right, John Paul. You know you're going to get agreement from me on that because I'm talking economically rather than politically. Jasper, says Jarvis. Is it Jasper Butler? Sorry about that. I've been calling you Jarvis. Only 50 plus at the moment. 1,500 is hardly a drop in the ocean. Lee, until you realise that 100,000 people have already seen this little Facebook video. So, you know, that's not bad, is it? You know, it just shows you what can happen when you put Scotty McClue on. And as we know, when you put Scotty McClue on, on a big radio station, you're into quarter of a million audience. Do you know that when I worked at Scott FM, we had a bigger audience at night than Capital FM in London. And we had a bigger audience than talk radio nationally. Now, what about that? So there you are. Give us a wee dab, says Elliot. I don't dab, Elliot, as you well know. So there we go. Love it, says Peter. 
Down with the crown, says Robert Bain. Robert Bain, you will be banned from the programme if you say that. The Queen is a fantastic lady. The royal family cost us 52 pence a year. They are absolutely, totally unconnected. If the Scottish nationalists start to make a scene about not wanting the crown, then independence will never happen. It will just be kicked into the long grass. Whoever has McClue has the market, says Gary Crossan. You're quite right, Gary Crossan, and thank you. And thank you for all your generosity. Uh, what's your Skype, says Louis Faber? Scotty dot McClue, Louis. Right, it's after half past ten. Can we have a massive, massive international share of Scotty McClue? Share, 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 share. Right now, everybody, come on, share the video. I want to see that hundreds of you have shared the video. Very, very important. I dabbed because I'm a printer, says Sandy Howden. Good for you. Are you a hot metal man, Sandy? That's something to be proud of, Scotty, says Francis King. Scotty, take the bull selector mask off. <laughs> um, you was a big name at one time, but now you've lowered yourself to Facebook. The radio is the way to go. There's no lowering, Lee. You've never, ever lowered yourself. Supposing you're shouting out the window to half a dozen people, you've never lowered yourself as a broadcaster. I can tell you that right now. I'm a big name now. You ask anybody internationally if they heard of Scotty McClue, and the answer is yes, 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 yes. So there's no question of being a big name at one time. I am bigger now than I have ever been in my puff. So there you are. Remember also, Facebook Live, we're in our infancy with this program. But 100,000 have seen these Facebook videos. Now that's pretty big stuff, I'll tell you that. So share, 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 share. Uh, Lee, you're wanting, you're saying, how can hundreds share when only 50 plus are watching? You're not understanding. That's 50 plus at one time. And we had it up much, much higher earlier, of course. And uh, what you'll find is that everybody globally shares. You're then getting into your millions. If you add up the figures, go back in your Facebook, add up all the figures for the McClure videos, and you'll find it comes to 100,000 people. Woo! There you go. And uh, if you go for a pint, you talk as much as George Mullen. More, more usually, George. I'm fairly quiet on the program, of course. But uh, if I was having a pint with you, then we'd be talking non-stop. Margaret Hemp Hill Sweeney says, Legend. Thank you, Margaret. Quite right. That's a bit better. Oh, Scotty, my saviour. Eleven weeks with the Lurgy, and now I've got my hero back to save me. Got to have the camera doing the thrapple, though. Absolutely. Kekin myself. You are the second coming since... Wait till we see what he's saying here. See more? Since our last lord, the sensational Alex Harvey. Vamboru, all hail Vibrania. Right, thank you for that, Brian. Now, uh, don't worry about the camera down the throat. I've had that, of course, as a broadcaster, when you've done 35,000 hours of live broadcast non-stop. Uh, you do wonder if your throat's okay, so you get it checked out, and they'll put the camera down your throat, and they'll actually stick it up your nose, but don't give it a thought, because you'll hardly know about it. So there you are. And uh, what it was with me was actually too much snoring or uh, lying on my back. Do you know what ever happened to Father Andy from the open line, Scotty? I don't, Stevie. He was wonderful. Father Monaghan, Andy Monaghan. I used to listen myself to Andy. Great guy. Scotty, uh, George Parsonage, yes, has got the only boat on the Clyde. So there you are, yes, of the Glasgow Humane Society. Quite right. Um, is that a bowling club jacket, Scotty? No, George, it's not my bowling club jacket. So they are, but thank you for asking. Very nice of you. I don't bowl, unfortunately, but I will when I'm older. Give a shout out to Maggie from Basford in Nottingham. Hey, help me, dogs, Maggie Love. And uh, from uh, Steve Burrows there. Um, where else have you had that camera, says George Mullen. Oh, wouldn't you like to know, George? Cheers, folks. You'll see that in reverse. That says, seize the day. Carpe deum. Mm. So there you go. Nora McGrath. This is Scotty McClue, says Alex Duff. Nora McGrath, how do you do? Dinky do from Scotty McClue. So Nora McGrath, is that different from Alba McGrath? Good day, Scotty, says Lawrence LD Dev. From sunny Stornoway, from Stornabech. How fantastic that is. Esther Hart says, lol, good day, Scotty. And uh, Shard Shard. 
says Margaret Bonner. Oh, have you been in London? Have you been up the Shard, Margaret? Well done. Oh, shared. Sorry, shared. Uh, Scott is doing amazing things with his Facebook live stream. He only started doing it a few months ago. Wait to the end of 2017, Scotty. You'll have millions funding it. As always, absolutely, whoever has McClure has the market. If you're advertising on radio and film and television, then get Scotty McClure to do your voiceover. I shall do your voiceover, and I will do any sort of voiceover that you're looking for. So there you are. You should have kept that lovely blue jumper on that you had on earlier, says Angie Thompson. We've still got the blue jumper, Andy. I like to, uh, Angie, I like to dress up for my audience. You know, it's a mark of respect for who you're seeing. Scotty, is that a signed picture behind you? So there we are. Yes, it is, Ian. <laughs> Cheers, Scotty McClure. Love you, says Brian McKinley. Thank you for that. Lad. Why stick up for Queen Lizzie? She told me she listened to Scott FM and your show was mince. That was a what's not at all. I would imagine that uh, everybody has heard Scotty McClure, including um, those who are very much up the top of the system. Uh, I can sing says hello there from India. Ikan, Ikan or I can. Yes, hello to you from India. Lovely to hear from you. Fantastic, I say. This is wonderful stuff. Uh, much as the voice over, uh, Jackie Bud does them as well, says George. I'm sure she does. Hi from Clyde Bank. Miss your show, says Eddie Foy. Eddie Dinky Doo, love to the bankies, I say. McClure, my catheter's blocked and I smell like, oh God, and for goodness sake, tidy yourself up, you know. Uh, always the best, says Wadge, dinky do. So there we are, there's the gentleman listening to us in India, right across the continent there. That's fantastic. And in Paisley, says Peter Ewing, how marvellous. It's wonderful to be global, isn't it, with the Scotty McClure, massive mighty megaphone in live on Facebook Live, dinky do, just for you now. A word to the wise. Here's your instructions, Lalas. If you can follow Scotty McClue, right? <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Pardon me. I don't want you to get the log. You don't get too close to your uh, to your screen. Uh, if you can follow Scotty McClue on Facebook, right? So follow, 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 because there's too many of you to befriend you all. So if you've applied, do you like that? When applied for friendship, there's too many of you for me to befriend. So if you can follow Scotty McClue, that's fantastic. If you can also set some kind of warning, let me know when Scotty McClue is live. That would be tremendously helpful because Facebook Live's obviously in its infancy and we're wanting to get the biggest audience possible worldwide. So if every single one of you can type in, are you watching Scotty McClue? If you see during the week, the Scotty McClue show from tonight, either on Facebook or uh, or on YouTube, if you can send it round again, right? I don't think those of you who are not afraid of work shouldn't have a problem clicking like and share. If you'd like to contribute to the program so that we can upgrade the equipment, please feel free to do so at wwwscotty mcluecom the world's top website. Over 10 million people have visited that website. And uh, you'll see a little PayPal there. So scotty mcluecom PayPal. Send us a quid, three quid, a fiver, a tenner, 50 quid, a thousand quid, 50,000 quid, a million quid, just whatever you can spare from your per set. Hi, Scotty, uh, from all of us in Uddingston, says Margaret. India, China, and Timbuktu listen to Scotty. Dinky do, says uh, here's Edward. Edward, we're not going to have you. We had you on earlier, and we're not going to have you on again. So we'll just say, hold on to him, and we'll get uh, the next one that comes in. So there we go. That's Edward calling again. He's got carried away with it, and uh, we will uh, we will get him when he comes round the next time. Sorry, Scotty, I typed fools. There was a trying to type something else, but I've got a new phone, and it's no very Scottish, the thing that keeps auto-typing. Yes, there you go. Hi from Orkney. I follow you on Twitter, Scotty, says Maura Graham. That is fantastic, Maura. Thank you, dude. So there we are. Uh, we'll just uh, we'll put Edward to the side just now. Uh, I know someone who wants to get someone to do voiceovers for his products. So there you are. Can you give us a demo? Yes, I can give you a demo. 
comfort for you throughout the day and the night. I wish he'd stop that. There we are. I'm trying to tell him there. <laughs> He's not actually in the contacts list either. So we'll sort that. Right. Um, I messaged you on Messenger, says Kamal Aziz, some time ago, and you never replied. I sometimes don't reply, Kamal, because I genuinely get thousands and thousands and thousands of messages. And if I could reply to them all, people say, you're very short, you're very cut with your one word answers and your thanks very much and excellent and all that. But that's just because, as I say, I have thousands and thousands of messages. And if I replied to them all, then you, would, you wouldn't get a programme. It's as simple as that. Evening, Scotty. You're putting the world to rights, says Michael Paul McVeigh. Of course I am. McClure. I thought you were going to be on Go Glasgow on the wireless. Yes, but to my knowledge, I haven't heard any more from Go Glasgow. It <coughs> changed owners, as far as I understood. And that was kind of the end of that. So the owners that were wanting Scotty McClue um, have changed, and I haven't heard from them. So there you are. You're not answering Scotty, says Jarvis. Answering you, Jarvis. Of course I am. Uh, he's busy, Jarvis, says Wadge. Yes, we're busy. It's quite busy. You try this. You do your Facebook Live for an hour. I know an hour's a uh, piece of cake for me, a walk in the park, but you do it for an hour and then multitask and see how you get on. I'll just leave it to you for them. Any detractors, you always get a detractor, don't you? When you set yourself up, when you sit up in the wall, somebody goes, come down from there. You'll hurt yourself. But what they mean is you've no right to sit up higher above me. Catherine Scully, hi Scotty, it's good to hear your dulcet tones once more and a kiss. Scotty, what's the name of the care home you're in? Says Ian Walker. Oh, I can't tell you that. It's actually known as Paradise, uh, Ian. So there you are. Uh, An hour is busy, says Luth. Yes, absolutely. Hey, hey, says Jarvis. There we are. Uh, here's Numpteed. We'll hear what Numpteed's got to say. <coughs> Hello, Numpty Heat. How are you tonight? <laughs> Hello, I'm through to McClue Towers. You're through to McClue Towers to Scotty McClue Live, Numpty Heat. How are we? Fan fantastic, fantastic, Scotty <laughs> Dutch McClue. Are you enjoying it? Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> you can't even be a Scotty. <laughs> so am I. So am so I, Numpty I'm Heat. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Scotty, listen, I've been trying to get through for the last half hour, but the numpties Jammed. have been phoning in. Jam, the numpties have been on, yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's fantastic. Is that Ed, Edward the first, Edward the second, Edward, Edward, the, Edward the first, Edward, uh, Edward, Edward scissor hands. <laughs> you know, we've got another four to go. It keeps phoning in. <laughs> There's all this. Ed, Edward Longshanks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how are you doing, Scotty? Oh, I've not heard you since I had the, the old bit flu. Mine was you had, up a you did, ago. You did, you had the man flu, you had the lurgy, and you were sounding quite poorly, actually. Oh, I'll tell you, it was awful, Scotty. What a night, it was New Year, I had the, the, the Scotty McClue, the flu, you know. Do you know, there's a lovely thing, there's Mick McFarlane saying, first time viewer, loved you on the radio. Isn't that fantastic? Oh. That is fantastic. But anyway, I thought I'd say hello to the world while I was here. I think you should, Numpty Heed. Now, listen, tell me, you're uh, obviously something of, um, what can I say? You're, you're something of a... Um, Numpty Now, you're definitely something of a Numpty Heed. There's no doubt about that. They're all queued all up right. here and ringing, for goodness sake. But no, what I was thinking, you're something of a, a knowledgeable person about my work. And do you think this would go well on a national television channel at night for an hour? Well, well, Scott, if you wanted my honest opinion, if I was your job centre advisor, I would have stopped your money months ago. Aye, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, you and the Queen, she's no fit for work either. She should be in her bed retiring. She's doing awfully well at 90, actually. I take my money anyway. off to you. Hey, listen, Scotty, yes. how come I can't comment on your Facebook page? Have you done something to no. block me? No, I don't think so. You should be able to comment on there. Are you on as numpty heat? No, my dog's on it, do you know? Your dog, oh, do you know the dog? Right, well, I shall just check that everything's fine there for you. We'll get oh, you sorted. Oh, aye, aye, because he's been away in the half feet. Oh, his board. right, no, no, we'll get you sorted. We'll get you sorted, Numpty Heat. And Dinky do. I think you do, Scotty Dot McClure. I think you do. So there you are. George says this guy's as funny as been run over by a bus, has been fun over by a bus. So get him off, Scotty. Thanks, George. I'll have you on as my lovable laddie of the big switchboard. 
McClure can up to you'd send me a night bag for my catheter. Oh, for goodness sake, Gordon. When people are at their late plate of wheat bangs and stuff like that. Absolutely, the television would be great, Scotty, says Stuart Walker. Get Scotty on the telly, says Mick McFarlane. I think if we had this on one of the big television channels for one hour every night between 11 and midnight, and say we had a television channel where they had access to their own telephones and they could give special rates and we could have people on and off in a trice, I think this would be absolutely massive. So there you go. So if you own television and radio stations <coughs> or newspapers or whatever, get a hold of Scotty McClure. Here's Joe, Joe Bobo. Wait till we see what he's saying. Hello, Joe, Joe Bobo. Hey, uh, hello there, uh, Scotty. How are you uh, thank you, do. Thank you, do. Do. Lovely to hear you. Uh, I, I was just going to ask your opinion. Uh, what do you think of uh, a new Prime Minister? Uh, Theresa May, uh, the wicked witch of the, the South. Oh, well, I think that's harsh. That would imply that you've actually got an opinion on her, Joe Bobo. <laughs> you know, well, I, all I said, I said to somebody earlier, who would you prefer to have running your country, Theresa May or Nicola Sturgeon? It's purely an opinion. So, you know, that kind of says it all, if you get my meaning, Joe Bobo. Uh, I, I prefer Alex Salmond, actually. <laughs> well, I think I think I think everybody would, but Alec did the right thing at the time. He did the decent, gentlemanly thing. He said, "Right, I'm going to leave it to you if you've said no to me." But in actual fact, a lot of the people that said no at the time are very, very sorry about that. <clears throat> There's no doubt about it. I think a lot of people uh, would like to see Alex Sand come back. <laughs> yes, yes. And it's funny because I contacted the Yes campaign at the time and I said, can Scotty McClure be of any assistance? And uh, the, one of the guys on the phone said, oh, very excited, Scotty. Yeah, brilliant. Leave it with me. And I never heard any more. And I thought that was a bit strange because probably we, we would have been independent by now. Uh, uh, of course, you know, we're on our way to independence, I believe it. Absolutely. I believe we're going to have our sound, sound referendums coming. I think I think so, definitely, Joe Bobo. And listen, a delight to hear from you. Thanks for calling in. Uh, no problem, uh, Scotty. Always and a pleasure. We'll catch up again soon, and dinky-doo. Yeah, thank you, do it. Thank you, <laughs> right, do it. Right. I'll see you, Joe. They are Joe Bobo there. And, um, yeah, of course, as you know, I'm apolitical. Yes, 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 says Peter Ewing. Um, I didn't like Sam and Sturgeon because I don't trust people who have the second name of a fish. Sam and Sturgeon. <laughs> oh, gee, for goodness sake. Um, there we are. Her idea of a laugh. Turn your volume up, Jarvis, for goodness sake. Right, everybody's ringing, Scotty McClure. We need independence, and you're the man, says Gillian Beard. Yes, I think, though, Gillian, that this program should be on national television between, uh, say, 10 and 11 at night, or 11 and 12. Uh, STV Glasgow for Scotty, says George Mullen. Fantastic. If you know anybody at uh, the BBC or STV or any of the big companies, then do let us know. Here's Louis calling. We'll hear what he's saying. Two seconds. Right. Hello, Louis. Hello, Louis. Oh, Scotty, how are you? Think you do. Lovely to hear from you. I know. It's my first, it's my first time phoning you. Well, I'm very yeah. glad you phoned. It's tremendous to hear you. And you're a sensible man. I like a lot of your stuff on Facebook. Oh, great, great, great. Um, there's this one thing I wanted to uh, discuss with you. Yes. Going back to the point you made about uh, public transport and people mm -hmm. not using their cars anymore. Yep. Surely the best thing to do is to boost competition um, in, say, the railways and airliners. And I'll give you a quick example. Uh, you go to America, for example. Yep. You fly from New York to Boston and you've got seven or eight different choices of airlines all offering you the cheapest deal for a flight. Yes. Um, why can't we have the same uh, in the UK? Surely this will boost uh, connectivity across cities, also boost tourism in Scotland as well. Louis Faber, I'm becoming a bit of a fan of yours, actually. I like your thinking because you're a big picture man. And we need Thank more people much. like that. I know that you don't necessarily see eye to eye with me uh, politically, but that doesn't matter. That's nothing to do with it. You're a big picture man, and I like that. We need more big picture men like you, Louis Faber. 
Yeah, um, I'm quite a young guy, I'm 22, but um, I heard before that British Airways used to have um, regional hubs instead of having just Heathrow as like uh, the British Airways hub. They used yes. to have it in, Gla in Glasgow. Yes. Um, surely we should be bringing that back now. Surely it's a good time to bring it back. It's an excellent time. And look up that company because that will be right up your street. Saunders hyphen row. Yeah, I will do, I will do. Um, Av yeah. Av Avro Aircraft, and look at their Princess flying boat from, I think it's 1952. And that means this country is surrounded by runways, Louis. Yeah, that's another good point, actually. Um, you look at Detroit Airport, they've got about 14 different runways. It's one of the busiest airports in the USA. Um, Heathrow obviously only has two at the moment, but um, they definitely should be looking at a, a third runway option there. Um, I know there's was there was issues with um, you know the, the environmental impact with air pollution and uh, and sound pollution, but we need to consider all options. Um, uh, London is growing very very fast exponentially. It is, it is. But I think also Scotland needs to be repopulated. It needs to be growing as well. I would like to see Greenock, and people laugh at me, but I would like to see Greenock as the financial capital of the world. Yeah, I mean, I think RBS are over in Greenock still. You know? If, if I'm right in saying it. But, uh, yeah, you're right. Um, we should be bringing... Uh... Because you've got the Clyde there. You've got beautiful property. You've got great people. You've got a great playground for the rich. You've got oil. You've got gas. You've got everything over there. And I would, like to, I would like to see that back. Yeah, well, it used to, it used to be the Silicon Valley um, of, of the UK, didn't it? It was. It was point. Silicon Valley of the UK. And, uh, you know, computers, the whole lot, fantastic. Listen, I'm going to have to dash, but I enjoy okay. to hear from you, and I hope we hear more from you, Louis. Great, keep, thanks for having me. Keep in me touch. Too. Thanks for coming on, Dinky Doo. Oh, yeah. What a top young man now. Is he not a credit to young people, guys? <clears throat> so there we are. I've missed lots and lots of wonderful chat from you. They'll look forward to watching tonight's program on YouTube later, Scotty. I hope it'll be there after my shifts as Ben Lucas. And uh, Elliot... Um, an independent Scotland would be taxi-free. Taxis and their drivers are a blight on society, especially those Hackney guys, most of whom are failed bus drivers, says Gordon Sterling. You will be popular, Gordon. Go Greenock, says Scotty, says Margaret Hemphill Sweeney. Fantastic. So there we are. I can't take any more calls, guys, because we're running short of time. There's, there's dozens of you queuing up to speak on the programme now. Can we have one big, massive share out? So a massive, massive share out. Hold on a second there. So, right, we'll see if we can... Um, right, I'm just having to switch the soft out, folks. <laughs> there you go. Off he goes. This is why we need one of the big television companies to come in and take over the show so that we can get the production values sorted because McClue's doing the lot himself here. Hey, where's the, the lovable lassie of the big switchboard? The wicked witch of the big switchboard? The wizard of the big switchboard? This reminds me of L107 back in the day. So there we are. And uh, what have we got? Stay on longer. You're spending time talking to these bangers on Skype. Another great sh show, Scotty. Bring on more. Do you think we should legalise slavery in Scotland like the Tories have done in England? <laughs> this is fantastic stuff. Uh, the train from Glasgow to Cardiff Bay is 220 quid for an adult and a child. It takes eight hours changing at Birmingham. The bus company, same journey, change at Birmingham, took us right to Portia, over to Portia, for 88 quid. So there we are. Da -de 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 -la 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 -la. Tremendous. So there we are. Another great show, Scotty. Stay on longer. Yes, all that stuff. This reminds us of the heyday of L107. Says, uh, this is tremendous. All your messages, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your wonderful messages, for joining in, for creating live entertainment globally for all of us on a Sunday night. Remember, I'm just the catalyst. You are the people, and we're building a huge, huge program live on Facebook Live. The Scotty McClue Massive Mighty Megaphone In live on Facebook Live for one hour on a Sunday night at 2200 hours. 10 o'clock sharp. If you're in America, of course, 
Uh, it'll be 10 o'clock sharp, but it'll be about 5 o'clock. You'll be going for your supper. So there we are. And um, Richard Branson said he would make Virgin Galactic Spaceport in Scotland, says John Paul Preston. So there we are. Fantastic stuff. I didn't manage to get all of your messages tonight, um, but we've had a real good whack. Can we have a big share? So there we are. A massive share, 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 share. If you don't mind, that would be tremendous. And think about it. Would you like to see this? With all the production values, of course, you know, it would look a lot, lot more impressive on a national television company for one hour each night i think that would be the winner let the people speak and if you're wanting to make big audience big sponsorship all that scotty mcclue live on the telly for one hour each weeknight right i'm gonna have to dash thank you so much as i say for all your support for all your wonderful messages for your skype calls for all the chit chat for the laughs for the jokes for the fun spend the rest of the week sharing this program so that we get everybody on and share the ones that i put on like them that is wonderful of you but share them as well even if you're fed up you go oh scotty mcclue sharing that again it doesn't matter right we're live on facebook live and that's what matters right the good news for you is that I'm going to push off now. So this is Scotty McClure saying dinky do. Catch up with me on social media, on Twitter, on Google+, on LinkedIn. All these things if you like to do business. And of course, if you're in a position to contribute, then www.scotty-mcclure.com. PayPal. Get on there. I shall see you all, weather permitting, God willing, next week at the same time, 2200 hours, Greenwich Mean Time, 10 o'clock sharp. Until then, goodbye everybody, goodbye. Take care everybody as you go. Goodbye everybody, a wheat of Zane. Au revoir and a cheerio. Dinky-doo, Scotty McClure has left the building.